Hey guys, welcome back. Scared you with my ugly face, didn't I? <laughs> I have no makeup on besides my eyebrows and that is because I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Um, I've heard quite a few people here on YouTube talk about this and say that they actually do like it. I wanted to see if it would work out for me and I decided to film it. Uh, let's just get started. So this is a foundation I'm going to be testing out. This is a 2-in-1 foundation. So it's foundation plus concealer. I got mine in the shade Light Beige. Hopefully it matches me. The packaging is really pretty. I like it. It's like an ombre. It's really pretty. Um, the back says it's medium to full coverage. It's lightweight, oil-free formula, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. Mm. It comes with the pump, which I am so glad it came with the pump. Most drugstore foundations don't come with pumps, and I'm so glad this one did. The way this is going to go down is I'm going to prime my whole face, and I am going to apply this with a beauty blender. I'm going to wear it throughout the day and come back and kind of update you guys. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to prime really quick. I'm using my Nivea Men uh, Pulse Shave Balm. Loves this stuff. I love it. And it's kind of perfect timing because I don't know if you can tell. I have a little bit of acne scars. A uh, super dark under eye area. Um, so yeah, we'll see how much coverage this foundation provides. To fill in my pores, I'm going to use the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser because my pores are looking huge. Now that our primer and all that is settled in, let's get this started. I'm going to pump a stripe right here, right here, down my nose, and on my big forehead. So I think that's good enough. Let me just add a little bit more. It's really thick. So that kind of scares me. Perfect color, yes. I think I mentioned, but I'm going to mention again. I got the shade 03 Light Beige. So far I've heard people say that this foundation is amazing. Um, we shall see. That's pretty good for just a stripe of foundation. The foundation does go a long way. It looks really pretty. So people say that it's a natural matte, but it looks a little dewy not dewy but luminous on me but i think that's just because i use this Ooh, i don't think it's the foundation that's doing that this is one layer one coat and it did pretty good i mean obviously you can still see my scars but i mean that's normal for me with any foundation it doesn't look thick like, it doesn't look cakey, and that is just one layer. So I'm going to try a second layer, see how that works, and then I'm going to see if it still looks cakey. But so far, it looks really nice on the skin. Get your ears too, girl. Since it is a thick 
foundation, I wouldn't really try and apply it with a brush unless it's a really dense, good, synthetic brush, then maybe I will. I would just go with the Beauty Blender because it does sheer it out as well. The second layer wasn't a full-on thick layer. I just applied it where I needed it a little bit more. And let's see. Two layers still doesn't look cakey. Is it my color? I feel like it looks a little too pink. Now that I'm looking at it. Thick consistency, but doesn't look cakey. Thumbs up for me. Coverage is good. It's definitely buildable. So that's another thumbs up from me. It looks natural. It really does. Because it doesn't look cakey like I said. So it makes it look really natural. And if you have dry skin and you use a hydrating primer. It's going to look really pretty. It's going to look a little luminous and glowy. So far so good. Um, on camera I am going to apply my concealer. And then I am going to try another product out from Milani. This is a Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder. Um, I just felt like trying it out today too, so I'm trying it out along with the foundation. I'm just going to apply concealer like I normally do. Don't mind me. I'm using my naked today. <laughs> my mm -hmm. naked. So it says you can actually wear under foundation to prep skin or over to lock in makeup. I wouldn't really do that. A white pan. It's pretty big. And I'm also going to be testing out this bad boy. This was $3. And I've heard good things about these. So this is the Wet n Wild Powder Brush. Cruelty free, gluten free, and it's vegan. Hmm, so that's good. Take a little bit. And set my face. Doesn't make you look too powdery, which is good. Uh, the brush, not so much. It started shedding. Do you see that? It just started shedding when I was setting my face. So maybe I got a bad one because people love these and they said that they don't shed on them. Look! Well, I can't return that because I used it on my face. Okay, the powder was good. Um, doesn't My face doesn't look too powdery, which is good. So, I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I just got done doing the rest of my makeup and it applied really nice on top of the foundation and the powder. So, um, yeah, that's always something to look out for when you're trying out a new foundation or powder is to see how well the rest of your makeup applies, like your bronzer, your contour, your blush. It is 320. Uh, so I'm going to wear this foundation for a couple of hours um i'll probably come back at 5 5 30 around there and i'll update you guys on the foundation and what else uh yeah that's it i'll see you guys later so this is the first check-in and it is 604 um so far so damn good i don't feel like i really have to retouch anything um, I do see that I got a little bit more, like, oily, which is kind of rare because I don't really get oily. I know that it did oxidize just a little bit. was outside for quite a while. I was watering my plants and picking my little tomatoes for my tomato plants. So I was outside for a while. Um, I went to the market with my mom. I don't see any patchiness. I don't see any really cracking. So it could be the foundation and the Milani powder. Well, I'm gonna be back in a few more hours and that will be the last checkup. I know for a fact right now we're gonna have dinner, we're gonna go see my grandma, and then we're gonna go shopping. I'll probably be home super late 
So that will kind of give us a final thought, you know. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Mwah. Están muy buenas. <laughs> I'm back and it is 10.41, so almost 11. And I'm going to turn off my light. As you can see, I do not look oily at all. I did not touch up anything. I am in shock because that foundation is $11 and it's bomb as fuck. It just looks so pretty on. It, I looked up, I looked close into a magnifying mirror. I do not see any patches, like patchiness. I didn't even see it creasing, creasing around my nose and that always happens no matter what foundation I'm wearing. It always creases around my nose and I don't see anything. I'm shocked. Like sometimes with some foundations, my acne scars peep through, but this one definitely did last longer. I just got back from doing some shopping and stuff and you know, I was trying on some clothes and it was getting hot in there and I felt myself sweating and it didn't budge like it didn't like smudge anywhere it still looks really really good so this definitely is water resistant and sweat proof hopefully this one doesn't break me out because i love it so this was definitely a successful review on this foundation because i wore it out throughout the whole day i started filming around three and it's now about to be 11. Eight hours wearing this foundation and it still looks bomb AF. I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how this foundation works. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Thumbs up the video if you want to see a, a clothing haul because I got a shit ton of stuff. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love this so good.